In Chip Constructor 2016 and AutoCAD 2016, you now have the capability to reference a coordination model. In essence, what a coordination model is, is either a BIM 360 Blue uh, project or a uh, Navisworks um, uh, model, which is either a NWC or NWP. Um, and this really gives you two main benefits. Um, the first benefit, as you can see here, is I can load a very large portion of my model in my ship constructor session, which you're not able to do in uh, most CAD environments. Uh, the second benefit is that if you are working with subcontractors or other partners uh, that are using different authoring tools that are not ship constructor, uh, it gives you mechanisms to get that information into ship constructor so you can reference it. Um, because it's using Navisworks uh, engine, it can uh, support many different uh, CAD platforms uh, pretty much all the CAD platforms that are uh, available that would be used uh, by your partners or your subcontractors. So I'm going to show you an example of how you can actually get this information in here. Um, this is not really useful for modeling, it just has too much information. But I just wanted to kind of show you uh, the performance and, and the, the level of detail that it has um, for each of the parts that are actually modeled. So you can kind of see it's pretty rich. So if we move to a, a ship constructor drawing, so this is a, um, just a, a normal pipe drawing. And to uh, load a coordination model, you would just type in uh, CM attach. And then you would select your um, NWC or NWD. I'm just going to uh, select an NWC here in this case. And we'll hit frame gives me the same options as if I'm inserting a block of my scale and orientation and so forth. And then I would just click OK. So if you're not getting these results, as you see here, is that this is a coordination model, which looks very similar to an XREP. Uh, there is some set setup that you have to do ahead of time if it's not done, done already. Uh, the first is that you have to make sure that uh, your UCS is in world coordinate system. And you do that by uh, using the UCS command and typing in W for world. Uh, another uh, thing that you need to do is to make sure your units of your project is the same units as your uh, Navisworks coordination model. And you do this by just typing in units, um, setting the units if it's metric, millimeters, if it's imperial, you set it to inches. And uh, last but not least is that you have to make sure that uh, hardware acceleration is on. So if you have those three items, you will get the results that you see here. If uh, there's something that is uh, scaled or if it's not off center, it's, uh, you haven't done one of those, uh, those three options. So this coordination model that you see here, if you select it, um, gives you similar options to what you would have as an XREP. Uh, you can uh, change um, the transparency of your of the XREF also has the fading if you want it more faded or if you want it more of a natural color so you have a lot of the options and but the real benefit that you start getting with this coordination model is that you can actually use this as reference geometry you can't do uh, interferences or anything like that you would have to pull that back into Navisworks um, but you'll be able to use it for um, routing for example so for example if I wanted to Wrote a bent pipe. If I wanted to run, uh, run it, you know, say offset from this plane, I can just uh, use the offsetting option. We'll offset it by 300 here. Oops, 300. I select my um, snap point here, and then um, wrote my pipe as I see fit. create a penetration. But as you can see, it's it routed this pipe uh, 300 millimeters uh, off this plane. So you're able to use it as a reference uh, geometry. So I hope that was uh, useful and uh, come back.